Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Bean from Ebner Elementary and I'm here to do a little math lesson with you. So some of my friends might recognize me. Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and doing some work at home. And for those that don't know me, I also hope you're doing well and I know for a fact that all of your teachers miss you very much and we're hoping that you're enjoying your time at home with your families and still getting some work done. And we all can't wait to see you again. So we're going to do a little math lesson today for writing and making equations. So for some friends joining me today, this might be a review and that is perfectly fine because we want you to keep practicing. So you're still gonna do the activity even if you've already done it. And for those of you who haven't done it, we're gonna go ahead and do it together. All right, so some things you need for your activity today are we need a little piece of paper or a card. We're gonna write a plus sign on it. So that looks like this. And a plus sign means to add or make things bigger by putting them together. So we're gonna practice with that. You're gonna need another little piece of paper that is gonna have an equal sign that looks like this. And equals means the same as, okay? So when we write equations or math number sentences, we have two sides of our equation and they are separated by this sign that tells us that both sides are the same. Okay, so to practice, you're gonna need your equal sign first, and you're also gonna to wanna to grab some objects from around your house. So some recommendations could be paper clips or pennies or a small thing of Cheerios. Today, what I have is some M&Ms, okay? So I'm gonna use bright colored M&Ms so you can see on my table. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna practice making equations with just an equal sign. So whatever I put on one side of my equal sign has to be the same as the other because that's what equals means, the same. So I'm going to start out with two M&Ms on the left side or on one side of my equal sign. So right now all I see is two equals. So now I have to put on this side of my equal sign the same as this side. So I'm going to need two M&Ms or whatever you're using. So now I have an equation of two equals two. So if you have an extra piece of paper laying around, you can also write that equation out. So I'll show you what that looks like. And I apologize if it's a little backwards on the screen, but it would look like this. Two equals two. I could also draw a picture to help myself understand more with my little dots. So I could put two dots equals two dots. Okay, so I'm going to try another one like that. This time instead of two equals two, I'm just going to add one more M&M &M to this side. So now my equation says three, one, two, three equals two. So to make it the same, I have to have the same amount on both sides. So I need to add or put on one more M&M. &M. So now when I count, I have one, two, three equals one, two, three. So my equation again would be three equals three. And you could write that out. Okay, so you're gonna practice that for a little while. And you can do that with somebody at home, whether it's a sibling or a parent. And then the next time you do this, so after you feel comfortable with that, we're gonna add in our other symbol card, which is our plus sign. So now we're gonna show two groups of something that equals the same amount on this side. So I'm gonna lay my cards out. I have my plus and my equals. So on either side of my plus, I have to have counters or objects that are gonna equal another amount. So I'm gonna start with my two that I had in my first equation. So here's two M&Ms, one, two. And now on this side of my plus sign, I'm gonna add some more M&Ms to it. So I'm gonna add three, one, two, and three. So now when I put those together, because that's what add means, we're going to put two and three together to make a new number. When I count those out together, that equals one, two, three, four, five. So on this side of my equal sign, I need to make sure that I have five counters. Okay, 
So I'm going to count them out. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll lay those beside my equal sign. So now my equation looks a little different than the first one. We have two plus three equals five. So to write that out, I'm just gonna write how many are in each section. So here's my first number, two M&Ms, and then I wanna make sure I write my plus sign. However many are on my other side of my plus sign, one, two, three M&Ms. I need my equal sign, because both of those are important for our equation. And then I need to count how many I put at the end. So there were five. So when I write out my equation now, it shows two plus three equals five, okay? So now you're gonna practice that a few more times. And when you feel ready, then you're gonna move on to your workbook. And hopefully all of you received those in the mail. They were supposed to come out to families. So for the workbook page today, you're gonna need your book to page 45. And this one is a little bit done for us, so I'm gonna show you one example. So this is what your workbook page will look like, okay? So you'll see that they showed a number of counters with our plus sign, another group of counters, an equal sign, and our total. So what you're gonna to do to practice writing equations is you're just gonna count how many counters are in the first group and write that number here. So in our first group, it was two. You're gonna write your plus sign. Count your next group, which in this number is five. You need your equal sign, and then you'll count up how many are all together, which on this one would equal seven. So your equation should read two plus five equals seven, okay? So now what you're gonna do when you're feeling ready, after you've practiced with your counters and your plus sign and equal sign for a little while, is you're gonna to go to head to open to page 45 in your workbook, and you'll practice writing all four of these equations. Okay, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and you continue to practice with your math skills. And I hope to see you all very, very soon.